I'm on my break. <laughs> can you not bring them in during my break? I can help them after, you know, after I finish my break, because I'm on my break. This is me time. They're eager? I don't, you think I care that they're eager? I'm, oh god, one of them's crying. Why, why is one of them crying? Okay, fine. Come in. Just barge in while I'm on my break. Make yourselves at home. I guess I'm going to work on my break today. Love it. So you're here to get your snow Pokemon prompt. So I have to talk about three Pokemon today. Ah! <laughs> well, these are going to be your first seasonal Pokemon, which is really exciting, but also it's a lot of responsibility. It's quite difficult. Three within four months. Can you do it? On top of all your other research you're trying to do, it's, it's a challenge. You're going to have to work really hard at this. I know a lot of you want to try and be as good as me, but I think you just need to kind of Calm down, accept that we can't all be on my level and just do what you can. So as you know, these Pokemon are only available for January through to April. So yes, you need to get the Pokemon within that time. Each of them have two items that they require. And so you need to get both of those items in the combination to unlock them. As always, the WordPress is available for you to unlock your Pokemon as you discover them. And they are under the seasonal Pokemon section on the webpage. Are you excited to see the very first silhouettes of your first ever seasonal Pokemon? So this is the snow season. So we're in the land of Pokemon, we're entering snow, which for some of you might be winter, the cold season. So there's gonna be lots of snow and you're gonna be snuggled up, exploring Pokemon in your big coats. <sighs> some of you might freeze to death. I didn't say that. He said that. You're fired, get out. <laughs> so um, as I was saying, it's gonna be cold weather. So these Pokemon only like the cold season. So they come out when it's cold. Here you are. Here are the silhouettes of the three seasonal Pokemon that you can get with snow. Now, I'm not going to tell you which item combination go with which Pokemon. You need to figure that out yourself. If there's a certain one you want to get, I'm not going to tell you how to get it. You just have to guess. You just have to do what you can. But each of these item combinations do go with one of these Pokemon. So here they are. Here's the silhouette. Do you want to get one of them or all of them? I'll give you item combinations now when I should be on my break. Let's just make sure you don't forget that. <laughs> so your first two items are a telescope and Christmas tree. Now we've just had Christmas, so a lot of you are probably over Christmas, but I don't know, this Pokemon lives in the past. So to get your telescope, you need to read a book with the night sky on the cover. So doesn't matter how much, whether it's just a little bit or a big bit, as long as you can see the night sky, stars, the moon, whatever, as long as you can see that there is a night sky, it works for the prompt. Then to get your Christmas tree, you need to read a book with a sparkly cover. So glitter, sparkles, bright colors, whatever makes you think of a bright, sparkly, cheery Christmas tree kind of vibe, it works. Then your next combination is knitting needles and a shovel. So to get this book one, you need to get these two items. To get your knitting needles, you need to do some craft slash a creative activity. If you don't like craft and you don't like creativity, maybe a game that involves some form of creativity, like Animal Crossing is creative, Sims is creative. If you can't find a creative game, just play a game, I don't know. But just do something fun. But if it can be creative, do that. And share your results if you would like on the Discord. A lot of people would love to see it. I, I don't care, but there are a lot of people that would love to see it. And then to get your shovel, you need to read a 500 plus page book. It can be any format, audiobook, manga, graphic novel, whatever. As long as it has over 500 pages and you read it within the time frame of the four months, the Pokemon's yours. Then the last combination is Lantern and Firefly. So to get a Lantern, you need to read the entirety of a 250 page book in a cozy spot. So a book that is at least 250 pages has to be read entirely in a cozy spot. It's pretty easy. There's a lot of cozy spots. It can be different spots as long as they're all cozy and you don't read it at any point that you're not in a cozy position. You can count it. And then Firefly, read a book with a bright cover. So it just has to have bright colors, bright vibrancy, lights, whatever. I feel like there's already a prompt with that in your items list, but you can't double up even if it's the same prompt. You can't do it, sorry. So yeah, can you all go away now and let me finish my break? Yeah? Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Go away. 
going. No one's gonna watch me eat. Get out. 